Welcome back to Shadow of the Erd Tree, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and we left off here in the Death Light Catacombs. We're going to be rocking Milady and the Duelist Shield again because this seemed to be a really winning combo the last time we tried it out, and I would like to give it some more time to shine. However, I ran into an issue on my first attempt with this. Uh, this is not my first time running through here. I think I made it about halfway through this catacomb, and then for some reason Elden Ring crashed in Steam. And with it, it corrupted the file in which I was capturing that footage, so I can't play it back, edit it, nothing. It is just lost to the void. Very heartbreaking, but at least we didn't make it down to the boss or anything, right? At least I didn't lose anything truly valuable. The only thing that happened was I picked up some items, fought some imps, and that was about it. And I don't even think I cleared more than half of this catacomb, but what we're going to do is we're going to run through again, and we're going to hope it doesn't happen. Man, these guys doing their crazy Yoshimitsu pogo stick stuff, it really does bring back the Soul Calibur 2 memories. But... I recall there being quite a few of these bastards, like, there's a lot of them. There's definitely no shortage of the imps. So the way this catacomb kind of works is there are these levers that you see, like that one down there, and what it does is it turns on the lights. It doesn't open doors, it just activates the electricity. Pretty cool. I suppose it makes sense. There's fulgur blooms everywhere, so of course there's going to be electricity. That's it. Bring your ass. This thing is so fast, dude. I really like it. Let's switch to the shield, because we know the shield is dangerous. Come here, you. Oh, yeah. It's so good. I love it. But what I'm going to do on my second time through here is there were a couple items that I... Oh, my God. Why? He's like the one that you should remember. He's like the one bad guy down here where you should really, really fucking remember where he is. And here I am, being a dumbass. All right, it's fine, it's fine. Let's get rid of him. Oh God, let's not miss this guy, huh? <laughs> oh wow, you can break their stance, okay. Good to know, bazookas have poise. I don't think there was anyone back in this corner. There shouldn't have been. Nope, this is just where the lever is. So let me point out where we're going. There. We are going to try to run around the ledge here, and we're going to drop down right there. Because I don't think I got that on my first time through. This is actually a very complex catacomb, and I'll show you what I mean once we get to it. Where are you? I know they like to hang out on walls and ceilings. So yeah, let's do this. Thank God there's no weird, like, I don't know, death blight eyeball things. That was the worst. That was the only thing I didn't like about that catacomb. Mimic! All right. Oh, sweet. We got the super version of the stamina medallion. Hell yeah. Now, thankfully, I do not have to blow through my flasks as I'm going through here because the taker's cameo will give me health back a little bit but still health back for each of these imps that I take down. That's assuming that they don't hit me, because these guys, I mean, the difficulty of this DLC is proving itself repeatedly. Like, the damage that I do, the damage that I'm taking just from fanged imps, just little tiny enemies, small mobs like this, is quite big. Like, they're not messing around. They'll do 30% of my health in one hit. And I have... Yeah, man, 2155? Jeez, that's a lot of damage. I'm not going to go in here, because I don't have to. There's an enemy up on that ledge with a very powerful spell that comes out of the ground, and it is very hard to get away from. Not going to go in there. But what I am going to do is... I already took that ladder. That's a super sneaky ladder that led to a purple item. And then what I'm going to do now is i got to find a way to get over there. And I don't know that I can make it if I jump from here, but I'm going to try. Oh, it's one of these ones that shoots the fire. Hey, man, what do you know? Same. Oh, he never had a chance. There is a sneaky imp back here on the wall, though, and we are not going to forget about him, because if he jumps down to give us a hard time, it's not going to be good. He still somehow did damage to me, just falling down. Are you kidding me? It's outrageous. Oh, boy. Gravity... Don't fail me now. So 
So that's what I get for thinking I'm smarter than the game. Go figure. So now I will unfortunately have to try to find a creative way to get to wherever that is. And we're going to start with this ledge. I don't know where this might go, but it's just sneaky enough to where it could be the answer I'm looking for. However, we got bad guys. So let's not mess up with this guy, shall we? They're going to turn around and shoot some insanely fast magic that is super annoying, does a ton of damage. We need to take care of them fast. No. The answer is no. Not at all. Never. Under no circumstances. So hey, what do you know? There's the ladder. All I had to do was try a little bit harder. Use my noggin just slightly harder. Is that what I think it is? Look at this guy coming to rain on my parade. Like, gonna loot the Death Knight armor, are ya? So, what do you know? We ended up getting the Death Knight armor. That's pretty damn fantastic. I highly doubt it gives you that super badass spawn cape that he has, but golden armor of the Death Knights, adorned with an antiquated depiction of the Erd Tree. Enhances skills and incantations of the capital's ancient dragon cult. Very interesting. It makes a ton of sense, though, because they are imbued with lightning when they fight you. These knights, once Godwin's personal guard, quested to find their transfigured master's cadaver surrogate for the coming age of the Duskborn. So there's a new term that we've never heard, the Duskborn. So all the armor pieces do give you that enhancement. That's pretty cool. I would imagine if you wear all the pieces to this armor, you could probably get some really disgusting damage with those skills. Pretty wicked. All right, you pesky ladder. Where might you be taking me? So allow me to point out why this catacomb is so complex. It's almost because it's like an underground city, right? Like the catacombs usually aren't this huge. They're usually not this vast, but this one in particular is enormous. You must die. No, there will be none of that. Approximately zero of it. Sorry, I'm a terrible host. Here we go. That's a high tier glove wart. I'm about it. And with that, get down. What did we tell you about the pogo stick thing? You will never be Yoshimitsu. Never. All right, before I was rudely interrupted by that imp, that Yoshimitsu wannabe, this is the first I make it or the, I can't even talk. This is the furthest I made it into this catacomb. I was trying to figure out how to get to that item, and it turns out that the secret to the ladder that got me killed, and also the item that I couldn't seem to get on my first run through here, was the same uh, chamber. It was just the same connection, the same secret little drop-off. So everything up to this elevator is totally, completely fresh. And I'm looking forward to it because with the first half of this catacomb being not blind, the second half will undoubtedly be more entertaining. You know what I mean? Do you see what I'm saying? You feel me? You picking up what I'm putting down? Oh, hello. That's, uh, mm hmm. That's a big bazooka mouth. Um, Oh my god, he takes like no damage. And he creates mini explosions! Oh lord. Oh god, why? What is their problem? Why did they make these things? This guy's immortal! You can't do anything to him! Look at that! The Frenzy Flame just did zero damage. Okay, I got an idea. This is honestly not even worth the trouble, so... Oh god. Wait for him to shoot. Oh my god. Ugh. Surely there's gonna be a way to get past him. Oh my god, a ladder, I see it. Okay, hold on. We can do we can do this. This can be done. Go, 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 go. Go! Yes. Alright. Am I safe right here? Oh my god. Nope. I'm not. We're not out of the woods yet, guys! Shit! Ugh. 
Oh shit, there's more of them. Okay. Oh god. Come here, you! Come on, no! I'm stuck! Oh no! Heal! Okay. What the hell were they thinking? Fuck this part. This is the worst. Fuck you, man. Such a pain in the ass. Holy shit. That was, like, super annoying. I cannot believe how many flasks I just wasted dealing with that guy. Okay, what's down this way? We have a sneaky item down at the end. And what's down here? Okay, I think that's going to go deeper into the catacombs, so let's avoid going that way first. And we'll loot this item real quick. Another glove wart. Now, there's got to be a way to get up there, too, where he was, because... He dropped a super item, so I'm wondering, how are we supposed to get to that? Look at that, man. They've even got mini bazooka waiting on us over here. They're pulling on all the stops in this catacomb. Holy crap. Guarding. Another glove wart. Fine by me. Alright, what's this going to do? The lights! It's gonna turn on the lights. Thank goodness. And what do you know? It even lowered that for us. So now... Well... I suppose we would have been able to get that. Not anymore! Okay, so, quitting and reloading just made it go away. <laughs> Fun. I guess, uh... Well, maybe I can Google what that guy drops. Let's go see what's in this chest. Not before my trusty lantern prevents me from getting killed. Mimic! Oh, nice. We got the big mouth imp ashes. We can summon bazooka mouth to do our bazooka bidding. I'm sure whatever that guy drops is probably like a glove ward or something. So I'm not really not. I'm really not super worried about it. I mean, you're alive? Jeez. These guys are tanky, man. All right, so that should be the extent of this. We've turned on all the lights. We got the we got the imp ashes, which is probably like the item, you know. That's like the thing you want to get coming in here. The what you go through the trouble for. And now we're gonna go even further down, and I would imagine we're probably coming up on a boss. If I didn't know any better, probably gonna be Death Knight, round three, which I'm good with because I really enjoyed the first two, and I'm curious to see if this does end up being a third Death Knight. What kind of weapon are they going to give him? We've already had the dual axes, the big great axe. What are they going to give this one? What we're going to do is buff. We're going to do our due diligence. We're going to make our chances of winning on the first try as high as possible. We're going to need Kung Fu for that. Here we go. Oh. Totally different, uh... Totally different boss. Does not seem to want to let me summon my guy, but... Okay, what's that? It doesn't go through? That's good. I'm going to use this brief reprieve to summon Shit Eater Steve to do my bidding. Yeah, that's not going to work, man. Mine does. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> How the turntables, what are those? Oh shit! I don't like it! Ugh. All right, we need to do something about this guy. And by do something, I mean we're gonna backstab <laughs> Or, I guess, Kung Fu him. Holy shit! Holy poise, Batman! He shrugged it off like nothing! Um, this is like Beacons of the Deep, is what it is. Eat this. Ha! Oh god. He's using the same attack as, like, the one guy's. Oh shit. 
What is that? He just sent a sumo wrestler at me. Do you have, like, breakable poise, my friend? Why are you doing the beacons of the deep attack? Stop that. You think I didn't play Dark Souls 3? So we got the Barbed Staff Spear. I would imagine Faith Scaling Great Spear, I want to say. I bet it's not a regular one. Yep, what do you know? It's a Great Spear. It's got these, like, outward-going hooks. Great Staff of Jory, Elder Inquisitor. The tip bristles with golden barbs, symbolic of the Inquisition's torture, allowing one to wield the staff as a Great Spear. Attacks deal holy damage, and potency increases with faith. That is such a Demon Souls weapon description. It's like mega throwback, but interesting. This is a Great Spear that has a much higher faith requirement than it does strength or dex. That's almost never the case. It's like, for example, this guy. This is an arcane scaling one, but it needs more strength than anything else. And this is a regular spear, and it's a throwable. It's a new class of weapon. It doesn't count. But take my word for it. Usually you need more strength and dex, and you do faith to use these great spear weapons. Um, I can't use it. Or I can use it. I do have the stats to use this thing. So let's take a look. It's pretty cool, man. What's the special ability? Jory's Inquisition. Oh, dude, that's cool. And it just goes and goes and goes if you hold it down. I would imagine if you have the right buffs and everything, you probably do a shit ton of damage with that attack. All right, Jory. What were you guarding? What is this place? Um. I got a bad feeling about this. A horrid feeling about it. What's this? It wait. Don't say that. Ugh. Is this... What in the... Do not tell me that that's Flame of Frenzy. Is this like... Is this a frenzied zone? Because I ain't dumb, okay? Like, I've got it on me, alright? Look at the color. Like, it's... Look. Don't tell me it's not the same. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We are... Mm -hmm. We are dealing... Wow. Good thing I have one. I have one whole clarifying bolus. Outstanding. Something here is going to use Flame of Frenzy because it's literally caked on the fucking walls. This place is infected by it. Whatever it is, according to that message, I highly doubt it's going to be okay with me being here. Turn back while you're yet... Oh, nope. Nope, you've done pressed my button. You've flipped the switch. Now you've just challenged me. I'm no longer afraid. Now, I'm just curious. All right, it. Abyssal Woods. Show yourself, Pennywise. I would like a piece of you. What's this? Don't let it see you. Once you are seen, there is no escape. It cannot even be touched. These are developer messages. These aren't even player messages. Why are they... All right. Whatever you say. Abyssal Woods, huh? Apparently there's... Frenzy-infected goats in here. That's honestly kind of adorable. I'm not seeing any loot. And I can hear rats. Where there's a bunch of small rats, there is always one big rat. So let's keep our eyes peeled, shall we? Tally-ho! And a mist. Great. All right. So at least their health pool is normal. At least they're not super rats. They still die in two hits. Goodness. This place seems quite large. It doesn't seem like we've stumbled onto a miniature area. It seems like we've stumbled onto a full-blown, like, portion of the map. 
And what do you know? Just like I said, big rat. Let's go ahead and deal with this, um, not like an idiot, shall we? Well, I was almost an idiot. Trying to tank up rat, right? Okay, so I'm thinking this shield is probably just not the best answer for the rats. I'm thinking that the sword is definitely a better option. The proof is in the pudding. Okay, we got a Winter Lantern Lie. Look at me. Look at me. They did not just drop the W word in Elden Ring. If they are hinting that there is anything even remotely as annoying as the Winter Lanterns in Bloodborne, I will set this place on fire. Guys, I don't like this place. I'm switching back to the Bam Bam Sword. What is it? What's waiting for us in here? Why is it suddenly dark and foggy like Silent Hill? I have so many questions. I'm not afraid. I'm just concerned. Who's that? Is that the Bloody Crow from Bloodborne? Who goes there? That is definitely the Gravebird armor. Ah, uh, Madding Hand. Hmm. The M word. Madness. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Thank you, goat. I know that's what just died. Let's uh, buff up and... I don't know. We're gonna do an experiment here. We're going to try our hand. We're gonna see whose flame is better. Come here, sir. That is a lot of health. I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, that's interesting. He can double dodge. So there's like... What was that? Was that? Did he just do a grab attack? Look at that. All with one bar of FP. What's that? What is the mad... Hold on. A glove stitched together from flayed skin of the victims of a butcherous bloodbath. This is like death metal album of the year description already. Afflicts target with madness. Raises attack power when madness is triggered in the vicinity. Forged of an unyielding black impulse toward revenge. Fostered in those who were hunted down as heretics by their own brethren. These are the weapons of the utterly downtrodden. And it's got maddening spear hand strike. Makes hand into the shape of a spear before unleashing a plunging stab that penetrates the body of an enemy. Afflicts foe with a large... It's got a madness grab attack? What do I need for that? It scales with intelligence? That's weird. Madness only scales with faith, or at least the Frenzied Flame does. It needs 13 intelligence. We may have to spec just to see if we can play around with that because... Well, actually, hold on. What kind of damage does it do? It's fire? Yeah, so it's the same kind of damage. But it's got the Frenzied Eyeballs in it. Look at that. You've got a fist full of Shabriri grapes. Love it. So I guess I'm still trying to figure out what the it is that that message was referring to. It definitely wasn't that guy. He was a pushover. There's definitely an it somewhere in here. And it could be the rake. Oh, God. More rats. In times of turmoil. In times like these. I'm not a ghost listener, but uh, I will say that song is pretty catchy. I see an establishment up there that looks like some kind of building, perhaps some kind of abandoned church. Much gets associated with... Thank you, goat. Um, much like what gets, gets associated with the madness in Elden Ring. So, I say we do this. Let me go ahead and get my blue juice back. And we're just going to give this rat a taste of the old Bam Bam, shall we? Nothing to it. 
I had a feeling that was going to happen. So this weapon, the stabbing animation, let me show you. The second hit of the R1, bam. The uh, very Monster Hunter moveset, by the way. The Is that a map stone? Oh, boy. Uh, the second hit of this, the stab attack, the second R1. Maybe if I put my lantern on, you guys could probably see uh, that attack. I'll do it towards the camera so you can see it. So bam, and then stab. The hitbox on that is interesting. It's uh, quite bad. It went right over that rat. So I'm thinking that for the rats, we probably want to do the heavy sweep like that. See, it kind of goes in a downward arc. It doesn't go perfectly horizontal. But uh, hello, Mr. Goat. Don't worry. I've lost my mind, too. I've all been there. But here's the thing about this level is I'm definitely going to go get that map stone in just a second. But... As I'm kind of like running through here and traversing these different levels, like these different uh, ledges and stuff, layers to this place, I'm not really seeing any loot is the thing. Like there's no items. This place is oddly barren. And other than what I picked up off the ground that was near the first pack of rats, there hasn't been anything else. Like there's nothing up here. It's starting to make me a little bit nervous, if I'm being honest. All right, y'all. I stand corrected. We have found the item. I don't know what that is out there, but it's being guarded by a lot of rats. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna bam bam. Bam bam. Smithing step two. I can buy those. Take that. Oh God, we got a map of the abyss. That's not horrifying at all. Bandit. Hey, what do you know? My instincts were accurate. This was indeed a form of church. It's not like we've had any of those in Elden Ring. What are you? A shadow tree fragment. Two of them, no less. Looks like we got a sneaky item over here, too. What's this? Hello. A perfume bottle that I just might give a shit about. Let's find out. Please, for the love of God, don't be a dex weapon. Uh, it is. It's totally a dex weapon, but it does require one additional point of intelligence, and it does scale with faith, though. It scales the most with dex, but from what I can tell in my experimentation, you cannot change the scaling of these weapons with the Ash of War. So, it does cause madness. That's pretty cool. Perfume bottle were made into a weapon by perfumers of the Realm of Shadow. Attack releases perfume powder, producing frenzied flame. From time to time, perfumers set out on journeys to pursue new aromatics and flower gardens. Don't you dare tell me there's going to be a fucking Madness Miranda powder. I'll kill somebody. But I want to point something out real quick. What? No. No, 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 no. Don't even get rid of my light. Let's use a glowstone. Because the game doesn't like it when I look down the side of my bow. So what is this? Like, maybe I should back out a little bit. These look like lions, right? Like, so these are definitely lions. But what are these things above them? Like, are these a different kind of cat or like a serpent looking creature? And what are they entwined under? Like, what are the two lions meeting at? Like, what is this, this thing in the middle? I don't know, but I do think it's very cool that these lions have these giant phoenix like tails. And then I don't know what these other two creatures are, these heads. But from what I can tell, the symbolism here is like spitball in here i don't know this for a fact but that looks to me like a flower so it did say something just now in the perfume bottle description about how there's some kind of like the, the, the different flowers that they're in search of so i really do not like that there's some kind of reoccurring flower theme happening here like these are in direct vicinity of each other so i think it's incredibly deliberate by the developers to really make you aware of the flower theme here Something tells me that we're going to have to fight some kind of absurd flower boss that has frenzied flame. That's what my jellies are telling me from 15 years of Souls games. What is that? Is that Eye of Yellow? I think it is. Let's go loot this real quick. Let's see what we're in for. Yep. Mm-hmm. Had a feeling. This is a lot of Eye of Yellow the game is giving me. So at least it is preparing us, right? 
<laughs> at least it's giving us the option to create the boluses that we are indefinitely going to need against whatever it is. So many fucking rats. Why are there so many fucking rats? Where I come from, we call this an infestation. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh my god. Is that a rat? No way! No. No. Hey, look! Eh. No. Man, is there nothing but fucking rats in this place? <gasps> Is that? <gasps> what the fuck are those? Oh no. Oh no. What does this say? Hide yourself. Make not a sound. Oh, these must be the it. Quietly await your chance. Combat is not an option. That's bullshit. You could kill the Winter Lanterns and Bloodborne. Crouch in the undergrowth. Oh no. You know it's bad when FromSoft has to tell you how to get past a certain part. This is not good. So are these things truly immortal? Like, can you genuinely not kill them? That's my question. It's like, what were they thinking? When they designed this part, were they like, eh, the Winter Lanterns and Bloodborne weren't annoying enough. They were way too easy. Do not tell me that that was the psychology when they created whatever the fuck this is. Combat is not an option. My ass. I like this little cane. Even absolute nightmares have special needs, it seems. Where's the other one? I know there was a second one. There he is. All the way out there. So I think for this part, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to wait until his back is well and truly turned... And then we're going to gun it for that tree. Hopefully it'll work. And go. Nice. So now how are we going to get past the other one? Oh lord. You know, what I'm thinking is going to happen, what I'm worried about at least, is... We need to stay crouched, right? Like, that's the only way to take advantage of this foliage here, is we have to stay crouched guarantee you these glowing things if we touch them they're either going to explode and cause frenzy or they're going to make some kind of noise and that'll be our undoing but what i'm really paranoid about is i feel like they're going to hide like a rat somewhere in this grass they're going to put something in this grass it's going to force me into combat and oh lord that's when things are going to get ugly but hey it's fine yeah let's uh Let's not touch whatever these are, right? <laughs> Those just look dangerous. Those look like they'll completely ruin all of my attempts to stay hidden. If I could just... Uh, it's too dangerous. He'll turn around and see me. If I could just sprint. If I could just make a run for it. Oh, crap. No, it's a trap. That's what they want you to do. They want you to stand up and run. Go, 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 go. Huh. Go, 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 go. Are there going to be more of them? I bet there's going to be more. I'm going for it. I'm running. Please don't be more. Please don't be more. This is really bizarre. For such a huge place, there's no loot. Like, there's no items or anything. I picked up a couple things here and there, but... Not, like, anything great. There's just a bunch of rats. And then whatever the hell those things were. Winter lanterns. I think it's safe to call them. Shit! No! They're learning. They're learning of my tactic to take them down with R1s. 
I don't like it. Okay, what's through here? Is that another grace? Oh, hell yeah. We definitely, definitely needed that. 100%. So let's go grab that before those awful things see us and kill us. I don't even want to know what happens. Like, you had no idea how strong the temptation was to try to kill them back there to see if truly isn't an option to fight, but I just didn't want to lose our progress. <laughs> He's just patrolling menacingly. Hello, loot. We've got a couple items. Finally, this place decides to give me stuff. It's about time. Ugh. Big money, big money, big money, no whammy, no whammy, stop! Yeah. This place is starting to feel an awful lot like the Nightmare Mensis. And no, that's not a compliment. Okay, we successfully made it through that guy. Are there going to be any others? It's giving us some more grass. I don't trust it. I think we should be in the clear. Let's press on before we get frenzied. To give you guys an idea of what I'm doing direction-wise, this map doesn't tell us a whole lot, right? Like, we are below, or perhaps above, the Elder's Hovel. I can't really tell, but I've just been using this waterfall as a visual cue. I feel like if I head towards the waterfall, I may be going in the right direction. I don't know. It's worked out for me so far, because I feel like if I go in the direction that I think is correct, all I end up doing is going in a big circle. And I'd like to avoid that. So, let's try not to mess up and get got by this next cluster of winter lanterns. So this part's particularly dirty. This guy's travel pattern is very short. So it's like, we really have to hustle as soon as he runs past us because neither of them can be looking at us when we get to these bushes. And you want to know the other thing? I can hear rats. They're about to do some really dirty shit to us in these bushes. I can tell. I can feel it. Look at it. Right there. That's the dirty shit. I had a feeling they weren't going to let us just sneak through this. No. Not on their watch. Oh, this is so dirty. We have to worry about touching these things. And blowing our cover. Now we have to worry about rats. This is just filthy. This is egregious. Go, 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 go. Okay. I think we're in the clear. We don't have to mess with the rat. We don't have to get got. Oh, man. This is stressful. This is a really, really stressful part of the game. So it appears we have reached the end point of the abyss. This is the fourth grace. No, the fifth grace that we found down here. And boy, am I glad it's giving us these checkpoints. So many fucking rats. Please be something good. Hello. That's more than good. The Mad Crapsman's Cookbook 1. Frenzied Flame Pot. Hello. So we now have a throwable. And we've got some juicy lore. A record of crafting techniques left by a craftsman who served Midra, Master of the Mance, and Nania, its lady. <laughs> What's her last name? Business? His eyes were burned by the Flame of Frenzy. Yes, that is indeed what happens to everybody who messes with the Flame of Frenzy. The spectral steed is frightened and cannot be summoned? What? Man, even Torrent doesn't like this place. I'm not alone. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this one. So today's episode may not have been super action-packed, but albeit a very stressful episode, like, man, I feel like uh, my shoulders and my neck are just bunched up from all of that. Sneaking through the bushes, trying not to get frenzied by the winter lanterns. My goodness, the just it has brought back all of my love and admiration for the Nightmare Mensis in one fell swoop. But 
there were definitely some items that we missed going through there like i would imagine we're going to need to swing back through i'll probably do that next time and we'll see if we missed anything truly important going through here and i'm sure you know obviously there's going to be some kind of boss here and whether or not that boss ends up being part of the symbolism that i was talking about like a frenzied flower who knows the world may never know but that's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we're going to backtrack a little bit through here, and we're going to see if we missed anything, try to look for those shinies and the good stuff. But so far, this is a pretty dreadful level. Uh, the whole sneaking and the, the, the entire theme here of, like, not being seen, not getting frenzied, and all of that. Oh, man. It's very FromSoft. It is so fucking souls. But... Thank you so much for joining me on this less action-packed, more sneaky and high-tense don't-get-got episode of Shadow of the Herb Tree. I've been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I will catch you guys in the next video.